What's Gucci, my symbiotes? Venom back at it again. All right, y'all. So this is gonna be a a, a pickup haul, um, and it's gonna also be a little bit of a review. And um, I actually got uh, tagged uh, by uh, the homie Patriot Prime Reviews. I'll put his link up here somewhere. And uh, he's doing this, or well, he's not doing it. He had some guy. I think it was his name was T Fan Geek, and basically he was doing this challenge where it's called um, the Fit Challenge, where it stands for Fantastic Immobile Transformer Toys. Uh, I tried I tried my best to do this. Um, um, I don't really have a lot of um, Transformers. I do like um, Transformers. I just haven't gotten so much into collecting a, a lot of them. Y'all have seen one vid where I got I bought that. Uh, that uh, leader class uh, Optimus Prime, but um, I tried my best because of the the challenge of this thing is basically um, transformers that don't transform, and I thought I had one down, but um, I actually didn't. This thing I've come to find out, watched the video, and it does transform, and I'll show y'all right now. It was basically this bad boy. I just actually stuck some um, batteries in him before the vid. And this is a mix master but this is a thrift fine man and it's actually missing a lot of pieces it's missing two flaps that come up here it's missing the devastator face that's supposed to be right here and this thing actually does transform i you know i found out it did i just thought it did something like this and this opens another thing is i think um the lights in there are not seeming to work but I guess that was a little bit of a fail, but uh, if y'all still, if I am still somewhat able to be put in this uh, challenge, um, I do have some some other little, um, go check out that dude over there floating, he's like Dawson. Um, I actually do have some other Transformers that don't transform, but pretty dope anyways. So first off, we got the little homie. Bye, yeah. Uh, star screen these are like some little blind bag uh, transformers these completely do not transform so I got that dude you got the king of the Decepticons by yeah we got Megatron and we got the big homie king of the Autobots by yeah my favorite Optimus Prime so I got those, those don't transform, so I mean, they're completely in robot mode. And um, I actually found this way before I started uh, doing YouTube videos, a bit dusty and stuff. I don't I don't recall what this uh, robot's name is. It's from 2008, if anybody knows, put it in the comments below. It looks like it's from the cartoon one. Again, another transformer that don't transform. Um, I actually found this outside while I was um, walking with the fam and then uh, y'all know I'm, I collect Hot Wheels as well as customize them so this is the screen again these don't transform but it does have the trans like transfer transformed um, transformer on the bottom so this is Bumblebee I really did uh, dig this one so we got that one, and then this is from the second movie, I believe, because this is when he he went um, like black. Or maybe this is just another edition, but it got some right there. So that's another one that don't transform. And then the cream of the the creme de la creme, my favorite, which is my custom. Bye, yeah. Got that boy Optimus. Now again, I did customize this. I put these on the back, custom paint, threw the wheels on there. Uh, it is missing this because it was damaged, but I repainted all of this. 
So yeah, that's my little. That's my little. Um, I guess you know challenge of what um, could be put as um, the fit challenge. I had those are the transformers that I got that don't transform. If it, if it can be into the challenge, then okay. I mean, I, I'm happy to, to, to have uh, been able to, you know, fulfill it. Um, if not, then we'll just put them to the side and we'll do what we came here for, which I, I know y'all. All right, so back at it. So, I did have some pickups. Um, this is some stuff I have seen y'all pick up here and there. You know, some si simple, simple. I've been wanting to put uh, like some slime coming out of these um, pipes coming out here, and then I just think that they look pretty cool. Maybe I can use them as newer, newer trash cans. Um, I did see John Largent use these a while back, but I, I was never, never able to find them. And finally, I found them with the kiddos. So I picked those up. Those were like a buck. And oh shoot, I forgot to actually mention, but I actually did have some symbiote mail hold up all right so like i said i did have some symbiote mail i had a uh, uh went on the bath uh trading um pages and was looking for pay for um pieces that i need because i am in the process of building rhino uh man thing and the ultimate goblin and i'm quite far on um all of them uh, i am getting i am landing pieces here and there so I did actually come across this piece uh, from the homie Mike Grant. Uh, if y'all ever see him up there, cool dude to, to trade with. I knocked this out. We knocked this out for like six bucks. So let me crack into this one real fast. Need that precision knife. Over. Yes, sir. Got the packaging right there. And we got the face to man thing. I feel like I kicked myself, man, for thinking about this because I had already actually had this bath almost um, completely done when it first came out. I had already had the head, the torso. Um, I want to say it was both arms and a leg. All I was missing was one leg, which was to Bullseye, and then I ended up buying Bullseye, and I, before I had even bought him, I ended up trading off all the other pieces, and I was just kind of like, I wasn't into building the bath so much at first, I had already had quite a few of them down, but I was like, you know what, now I actually kind of want to build them, after I started building quite a few of them, so let's see what I've gotten, and I actually got a... It goes all the bath pieces that I actually do got. So I'll be adding him in there because I already have a leg. No, let me see. Two left legs, a right arm, which one of those legs is up for trade. I have the other ones coming in the mail. And so let's get up to my pickups. So we got, um, I went up to the store. I'm sorry, I still didn't get no footage, man. I'm, I, I just, I gotta get, a lot better in, 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 um, in remembering to bring the phone and stuff. It's just, I guess I've been so, so used to um, doing these reviews, but I came across this line. I know y'all been saying that they've been hitting and um, I just couldn't believe it, but I'm gonna show you the second one. I went, ended up going back later on that day and picked her up. Bye, yeah. Oh, hold up. Lean up a little bit. There we go. So we got Spider Woman. Side view, back, and these things, you know, just, let's see, move the dial back a little bit. Sorry for all the stuff on the table, it's just, so we got her, it says, uh, Spider Woman uses heightened senses and powerful venom blast to strike down any enemies of justice. I don't know, y'all probably won't need it, but, so. And then let's get to the second one and then I'll crack them open. Bye yeah. 
take this glare off. Again, I wish it was the um, the green one, but hey man, Mysterio is good either way in my book. We got the side view. We got what it says down there. A master of illusion, Mysterio seeks universal fame as a cloaked villain with unmistakable helmet. With an unmistakable helmet. There goes the code. So I have everybody except for him, but I do have him on layaway. But I will be picking him up probably later today after this vid. All right, y'all, so let's crack into these. Get that whiff. Woo! Woo! Man. So I think she's not really uh, all that uh, figure. Seems like everybody was just basically grabbing her for the builder figure piece, which is really what I wanted her for. And I gotta see this, man. So they did say this is kind of like bendy, which it kinda is. Got like a busted out butt. He <laughs> got a good app crunch. So I'm gonna have to, uh, this jacket looks dope, man. I wonder if anybody else could fit it. Let me try to throw it on somebody. So, let's get a rundown of her real fast. I have to come up closer. Oh, look, all right. Get the light back on her. Okay, so she does, she does have some good, might be able to get all the way around, but that hair kind of gets in the way. I heard these are removable. Oh, yeah, they sure are. Ah, got a nicer face hidden behind the glasses. Usually it's a hideous face, hideous face behind the glasses. Hold up, I wear glasses. So she looks up just a little bit. That's because of her hair. She looks down a lot more because obviously it goes down. So her arms go up about yay high. This does swivel a little bit, kind of hard. Hinges up. She goes up, down on the wrist. Does swivel around too. I'm not sure if that paint just came off or I didn't see anything, but damn. Missing paint literally right there, but I guess that's because of the hinge. Uh, she does got a ab swivel, I guess. It's not a crunch. Back looks okay. Front looks okay. No waist swivel. Got some small hams. Got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees. No boot cut. She kicks up very high. Kicks back. Eh, not really. Looks like she's almost ice skating. She does do the splits very well. And let's see, cause I could have sworn I just seen it. Yes, she does. She's got that on the lead. That but, uh, butcher 305 hit me up. He was a little saddened by the last time we did a vid and the, the figure didn't have um, on the lean, which is kind of some, what, like how I felt too. So she only comes with these hands that are already on her, which kind of kind of blow a little bit because it's only a fisted hand. And uh, um, and just like kind of like uh, she's holding a weapon hand, but she's not holding anything. So what the heck? Come on, Hasbro, y'all need to step it up, man. All right, hold up. All right, I get her in this little simple kind of somewhat banana pose or vanilla pose, what you call them. So I kind of, I mean, I'm digging it. I like the hair, the colors. Now, all the paint on here is on point, except for like right there, which is not really ever a really a problem with me. Paint matches up pretty good. I always love to fall down as soon as I get that turnaround. 
Now I guess there's a lot of reused parts here and there, but uh, what you gonna do, man? The glasses look pretty dope. I like that. The faces, she's she's really not really good looking in the face. I'm glad we didn't get like a, another funky little uh, looking Marvel Legend chick. So we got her, and let's get to the creme de la crembo. That boy smelling super good. So we finally got us a leg, which like I said, all we need is that that other one, and I'll be having this boy built, y'all. It comes with these uh accessories. Which um, I was looking at in the um Oh yeah, okay, there we go. In other people's reviews, and they it looked like Freaking octopuses. So I was looking for these cats when I went to the Comic Con, man. They were all sold out the first day. I mean, every a lot of people were telling me they had them, and they were just flying off the shelf. But I'm very stoked to have finally gotten mine. So he does have like some a different type of texture, which is really dope. On his um, on his uh, cape. On the other side, it's just plain. This is pretty sick. So let's see. You can take off. How does this go? Okay, so you pull it off, and he has the white head. It's kind of sick. It'd be tight to throw some, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Gosh darn it, glow in the dark paint on this and then, and then stick it back on him. It'll be sick. So it just pegs in through that little peg and he, this doesn't come off. I thought it did. So let's do a little rundown because it's going to be kind of hard to do it with that cape on there. So he does go up quite far. A little stiff, but that's what you want, right? <laughs> Got that bicep swivel, double jointed arm, uh, elbows. Um, this does not have a wrist. Ro I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't have that rotation right there. It does rotate this way. It will come up. Let's see. I uh, get well. No, huh? it does hinge up and down. I guess it'll loosen up a little bit for you. This is a little loose. It does have a ab crunch he does have a waist swivel that's even way looser uh, we do got a thigh cut we do obviously got double jointed knees do we, we do have a boot cut it does kick up that far which is hella high Let's see how far back yeah nothing because i think it's obviously because of this ass cut right here for the buttocks that's why he doesn't he, he got that uh, Van Dam split, and my favorite, he got that on the lead. So I like this fig, man. Even though you know he looks like that without the cape, but hell, you know, it's all good with me. Hold up, let's get back to it. All right, back at it. So I just put the little green pieces to him. Let's get a 360 on this bad boy. And that, he's looking on point, man. I can't wait to put him with the rest of the Sinister Stick. Six figs that I got. Uh, I am getting up there. I need me, I need to start getting me some goblins. Now, hopefully when I go to this uh, new Comic-Con, Comic-Palooza, um, I'll find them. Being that I'm very, very freaking stoked that I found these. Um at Walmart before I went because I was actually going to be looking for these while I was there but I mean it's good to have found the shit before I, I went that damn Max Master won't shut up now so real quick before we leave I'm going to show y'all what I have down thus far for the um, the lizard and then obviously you know we're going to build it again but so I got 
Got one arm over here. Let's see what the, see that arm goes right there. And another one over here. I just like to do this while while I got it in hand, pieces in hand, and I just like to show y'all a glimpse too. Yeah, hold up. I had uh, the head in the symbiote sanctum. Excuse me, let's see how we gonna get this. Man, this jacket is like, somehow I'm gonna slide that head in there. Okay, so that's what we got thus far. We got a 95% done lizard already. And I gotta say, this dude looks hella dope, man. Can't wait to get me that leg. And I'll have this guy finished. As well as the next, next two. So like I said, y'all, this is my, my pickup. That's the, the little bit of the challenge that I did. I uh, hope y'all like it. I do have some more stuff coming in the mail. I did uh, actually pick up some thrift stuff. So I'll be putting that in my next vid. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to really start doing two vids a week. Um, try to own up to that, but uh, I'll have content for y'all uh, still. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get some more uh, content once I hit up that Comic-Con. And uh, you know, if y'all are looking for something, y'all willing to trade and stuff like that, you know, holla at me, put, uh, PM me, or or um, uh, put it in the comments if you're looking for something. Maybe we can work out a deal or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll try to see if maybe whoever goes with me up there, maybe they can do a live stream. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to do that, um, but you know, maybe we can work something out. All right. So like I always tell y'all, this is the end of this one. Y'all see me in the next one. Bye y'all, Venom out. Street is grinding. Talk about greatness whenever they speak about me. Cause I'm out here grinding. I ain't splitting nothing with nobody, homie. I gotta get me me.